This is Chuck Rapp with Multiply, a podcast to provide a word of encouragement for village church planters and leaders. As we begin a new year, I have begun a new series. We begin by exploring some of the leadership characteristics of the Old Testament prophet Daniel. Daniel and his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were some of the first Israelites deported to Babylon following the fall of Judah. In chapter 1, verse 4, he and his friends were described as young men. He was probably a teenager at the time. As the story unfolds, Daniel and his friends were training for the king's service and were provided with a diet of Babylonian delicacies. We read in chapter 1, verse 8, But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. This word resolved captured my attention. What's its meaning? What are the implications? Here in my country, at the beginning of a new year, many people make what we call New Year's resolutions. While these are good intentions, most are forgotten by the end of January. Is it like that where you live? However, resolve in our text has a much stronger meaning. To resolve means to decide firmly on a course of action, to determine, and to come to a definite or earnest decision. In this case, he proposed to the chief official in charge of his care and training that he and the others be provided with an alternative diet that did not include foods forbidden in Jewish dietary law. Later in chapter 6, we see another example of Daniel's resolve. Here, King Darius made a decree that no one was to pray to any god except him. However, Daniel continued his habit of praying three times a day to Jehovah. and This landed him in a den of lions. Of course, the rest of the story reveals God's protection over Daniel, resulting in King Darius' proclamation in chapter 6, verses 25 through 27 that everyone in his kingdom must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. Talk about influence. I propose that because Daniel firmly resolved in his heart to live a life that honored God, the result was that Daniel had extraordinary influence. Remember last time I shared that he served for about 66 years in the administration of three Babylonian kings? And also that his, inf- his calling as a prophet was fulfilled. I would also propose that the reason that many New Year's resolutions today are quickly forgotten is that they are not God-inspired and therefore not God-anointed. According to EnlivenPublishing.com, resolve is anointed when the object of our resolve is the Father's purpose and we are reliant on the empowering of the Holy Spirit and not our own strength. Let us be leaders like Daniel, resolved to live lives that honor God. This has been a word of encouragement for village church planters.